Welcome to the Journal Manuscript Submission site. This video will take you through the process of submitting your article. To log in, enter your user ID and password into the boxes. Then click Login. If you do not have an account, click on Create an Account. Once you have logged in, the navigation bar shows you the centres you have access to, Author and Reviewer Centres. The homepage has useful information for your submission. Please do take the time to read through this information. You will also find the email address for the editor office and a link to instruction for authors should you need any further help. When you are ready to submit, click on the author button. This will take you to the author dashboard. This is where you begin your manuscript submission process. If you have already started a submission, these will be displayed first. To start a new submission, click on start new submission then click Begin Submission. The submission process is presented in a series of steps. The left menu displays the steps and will show you your progress as you complete the submission. The first step is Type, Title and Abstract. It is important to know that each journal may configure their site with different questions and required fields. When completing the submission questions, please do not click the back button in your browser as this may delete your information. The first question is to select an article type. Selecting a manuscript type will determine which additional fields you will be asked to complete. Submission fields for an original article will be different from those for an editorial. Next you will enter a title. Note the word character limits are displayed for each field. Then enter an abstract. You have finished step one. Click the save and continue button. You are now on step two, attributes. Note that step one has a green tick denoted that you have completed all of the required fields for that step. In this step, you will enter keywords related to your manuscript. Begin by entering the keyword. Type ahead search will look through the list of existing keywords to try and find a match. Matching keywords are displayed and you can select one by clicking on it. Then click the Add button. The selection now appears in your list of keywords. To add another keyword, simply type in the keyword field again. If no match is found, you may view the full list of existing keywords by selecting the Show Full List link. Search the list and select an appropriate keyword. Note that some journals will require a minimum selection of keywords. Once you've added your keywords, click Save and Continue. Step 3. Authors and Institution Displays You will automatically be added as an author and from here you can add your co-authors by entering the author's email address and then click Search. If the email address is found, the author name and institution information will display. Click the Add Author button. The author has been added to the list of authors. You can add additional authors in the same way. If the author's email address is not found, click the Create New Author link. You may create an account on the system for the author. Enter name and contact information for the author. Enter part of the institution name and type ahead search results will display. Select the correct institution. If no match is found, your free text will be used. Fill all of the required fields before clicking on Add Created Author. Now all authors are displayed in the author list. You may reorder them by clicking and dragging the authors into the correct order. You may also renumber by selecting the numbers from the drop down list. Then click Update Author Order. To make changes to an author, click on the Actions drop down list. You may edit the author information, assign as corresponding author, or remove the author. When finished, click Save and Continue. Step 4. Preferred and non-preferred reviewers allows you to enter preferred or opposed reviewers. Click the Add Reviewer button. Add the reviewer contact information, indicate whether you recommend or oppose this reviewer, and click the Add New Reviewer button. The reviewer is now added to the list. Note the number of reviewers that is required by the journal. 
This step is not always required by some journals. This error message is displayed because I only entered one reviewer when two are required. Selecting close will take me back to fix the error immediately. I may also select save and go to the next step and I can fix the error later. Step five, details and comments is journal specific and may include an area for cover letter as well as other required submission information. You may enter cover letter text into the text box. Next, you will be asked to enter funding information. If you have received funding for the research, indicate that here. Select the Add Funder button. Enter the name of the funder and the system searches the FundRef database for matching funders. You may try both full names and abbreviations. Select a funder from the list and enter the grant or award number. You may add additional funders in the same way. When you have finished, click Add Funder. The funder displays on your submission. Next, the journal may have custom questions for you to complete. Required questions are designated with a red asterisk. These journal policy questions are required and need to be completed in order to submit your paper. When submitting a research paper, some of these questions will only show if you reach the revision stage of your manuscript. This is to help authors save time when submitting their paper. When finished, click Save and Continue. Step 6. File Upload allows you to upload all of your manuscript files. To upload a file, click the Select File 1 button. Select your main document file and click Open. Click Select File 2 to add an additional file. Choose the appropriate file designation. Click the Upload Selected Files button. The files now display in the Files section above. There will be some additional questions for you to answer in this step. When you've finished, click on Select Save and Continue. Step 7. Review and Submit Displays. On this screen, you will be reviewing all of the information included in the submission. Notice that there is an error message at the top indicating missing information in the submission. There is a missing reviewer recommendation in step four. Notice that step four does not have a green check mark, which would indicate that this is incomplete. Scroll down to step four. Step four is marked with a red X and the error information is displayed here. Click the edit button to return to step four to make changes. Once the corrections have been made and you return to step 7, you will see a message at the top indicating that you are almost done. You must review the information in your submission including reviewing the proof. Once that is done, the submit button will be available. The view proof section is at the bottom of the page. You may select any of the proof options to view but you are required to review the PDF proof in order to submit. The proof displays in a new window. When you finish viewing the proof, click the close button. Now the submit button at the bottom of the screen is available. Click submit. Confirm the submission by clicking yes. A submission confirmation screen will display and you will be sent a confirmation email containing the manuscript ID number. Click the author dashboard button to return to your dashboard. Notice that your submission is now shown in the submitted manuscripts queue. The status information indicates the next step in the process for your manuscript. You can return here to track the progress of your submission. Once you submit your article, it will be reviewed by the editors and possibly by external peer reviewers. Your article may come back to you with the editor asking for some revision to be made. Let's take a look at submitting a revision of your paper. The system will show you an alert if you have a revision or an invited manuscript waiting submission. It will also display in your manuscript awaiting revisions queue. When you are ready to create your revision, click the create a revision link in the actions column to generate a revision and you will be required to enter a response to the decision letter and any reviewer comments. The steps are exactly the same as when you first submitted your article. 
make any necessary changes to the submission questions. Don't forget to upload your new manuscript document and a document with track changes. Submit your revision. Note that R1 appears at the end of your article ID number. Any subsequent revisions will end in R2, R3 and so forth. Now you have created your revision, this will be sent back to the editor for review and you will receive a decision letter in due course. Thank you for watching this BMJ video on how to submit your article.